So it's Halloween night and everyone is at home thinking about one, how much candy can they stuff in their gullet within the next 24 hours? And two, how early should they get ready for Christmas? Is it time now to go ahead and haul out the holly and put up a tree before your spirit falls again? Or should you just wait until at least the evening of Thanksgiving? In this video, we're gonna ask those questions and find out when you really should do it. So I'll be perfectly honest, there really is no simple answer to this question. If you're not interested in wasting five minutes of your life discussing this rather odd question, go ahead and skip the video now. But if you're curious about learning more about this phenomenon that economists have called the Christmas creep, stick around. So over a century ago, the Christmas season technically didn't begin until probably a week or two before the actual day, Christmas Day, before modern refrigeration was possible and before modern transportation and shipping was possible. Stores had to pretty much rely on local producers, suppliers, and farmers to offer all the goods and services that people needed to celebrate the actual day of Christmas. And since, again, a lot of the modern technologies that we take for granted today didn't exist, you had to wait pretty close to the day before you go out shopping for all the items, supplies, and food that you would need. Moving to the 20th century, however, stores realized that they could take a broader and broader window of time to capitalize on increasing their revenues for the calendar year before December 31st. Therefore, we see the phenomenon of the Christmas creep introduced in Western society. America isn't the only country that experiences the Christmas creep. America, Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, France, and other similar nations deal with this phenomenon every single year. After World War II, stores began marketing things more zealously up until the Thanksgiving holiday and from then through Christmas Day. And as we move closer to the 80s and the 90s, stores were willing to introduce programs such as the layaway program as early as September. And now we even see Christmas in July sales, which actually have been around for a while, but they're now becoming more and more common as we see online retailers such as Amazon and eBay looking for any opportunity they can to outshine brick and mortar stores. When should you start decorating or jamming out to your Christmas jams? Again, there really is no clear answer. It's up to you and your personal taste. I think one reason that a lot of people don't prefer to begin decorating for Christmas yet and they choose to defer until at least the day after Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving night is because they want to be able to enjoy the thankful holiday and the thankful spirit of Thanksgiving. However, this is technically just for Americans. Canadians have already enjoyed their Thanksgiving in October, and the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and other countries really don't have a holiday quite like the American Thanksgiving. That's why we see a lot of theme parks, malls, and other businesses and attractions have holiday specials beginning the first week of November through the first week of January to again capitalize on a broader market of people traveling through the Thanksgiving and Christmas holiday season. I encourage you, go ahead, hang up the holly, deck out that tree if you want to go ahead and do it, or if you want to wait until after Thanksgiving to spend a quiet holiday with your family, feel free to go ahead and do that too. As for me, my family typically waits until after Thanksgiving to decorate just because we like to respect the reverence of the Thanksgiving holiday here in America. But again, it is your prerogative to decorate whenever you want. And I encourage you and hope that you and your family have a fantastic holiday season. If you enjoyed this video, I invite you to go ahead and like it and subscribe to my channel now so that you don't miss out on any other exciting videos that I share here on YouTube. And if you hated this video, I encourage you to like it anyway and subscribe to my channel so you too won't miss out on any more exciting content from me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and a beautiful holiday season.